Mr. Burrell recommends, my name is Darby and I'm an adult librarian at Nanaimo North Branch. I've been making an effort to read more black authors in the last year or two, especially as uh, Black Lives Matter and things like the death of George Floyd have heated up in the news. I happen to have only read female authors, oops, so I'm going to try to read some black male authors going forward as my next mission. Um, but I just want to share these books with you. Uh, you. You might be like me where you're very white, I'm very white, also pink, and uh, you might be really needing to find stories from other people for this this type of experience. I always really enjoy reading um, about other people's lives and if I've made a big had a blind spot on something I try to try to fill it in because this is my way of seeing the world. Uh, I like this selection of books because uh, they're kind of there's one one for every mood in this little crowd. I'm gonna start with this one the kindest lie. This is Nancy Johnson, and I just found this on our new book display. And uh, this is her first novel, but she's an experienced journalist. Uh, the craft is really good. Um, so just a little bit about the book. It's 2008, and Obama has just been elected president. So there's this hope in the air, uh, in, especially in black communities. And in Ruth's community, she's the protagonist. Um, there's also a financial crisis. So Ruth has this really lovely life. She is um, a food engineer at a big company. She has a lovely husband, a nice home, great friends. And uh, her husband really would like to have a baby. And it turns out that Ruth had a previous life in her hometown, small town, where uh, she had a baby at 16 and then ended up leaving everything behind. So lots of questions. Um, not just about race, though those are definitely present, but they're a lot about uh, class and um, what it what it means to be kind to each other and the purpose of lies. Um, I really, really liked Ruth's character. It was really comfortable being in her head for that time. So she kind of goes back home and, and sorts stuff out. And um, the, yeah, the character is really great. Um, I really felt for them. Uh, they kind of, you kind of got them got them in your stomach a bit. Um, yeah, lots about family and motherhood. Tone is pretty comfortable yet serious, so um, I think this is a really great one if you are uh, new to um, black experience in books. This would be a comfortable way to start that journey. Okay. But not as comfy as a cozy mystery. You may not have read a cozy mystery before. Let me tell you why you might read a cozy mystery if you're not a fan. Cozy mysteries, they don't have anything too wrong in them. Like there's a murder, but it's everything happens to a really normal person who has like nice family and there's good food in almost all of them. <laughs> um, so these are the kind of books that I read when I'm just like done with everything, whether I'm just having a, a tired period in my life or it's that like last 10 minutes before I pass out at night. This is your type of book. So this is called A Deadly Inside Scoop by Abby Collette and the second one in this series is called Game of Cones. Yay for series. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cozy considering it's about ice cream in the middle of winter. Uh, lots of family and friends and comfort and you know black people just want to open ice cream shops in the middle of winter too Really makes you think about how everybody in all the other books that you've maybe read in this genre are not of color so important Okay, this one's the dynamite one this one's the thriller with all of the historical background and sort of more uh, race politics in it uh, yes, so When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. It was awesome, like so awesome. Um, so Sydney has come back home after her divorce. She's gonna live with her mother in her hometown Brooklyn neighborhood. And like many uh, neighborhoods in Brooklyn and other places, it's gentrifying. So what that means is her traditionally black neighborhood is getting a whole bunch of rich white people coming in. and. As a, as a white person reading this, I knew the premise, but then I was like, well, maybe, she, like, it seemed like she was overreacting. Then I was like, oh, look at me thinking she's overreacting. 
and that's where the psychological thriller comes in because it just like burns up it the I couldn't stop reading it was horrible <laughs> um so her neighborhood's being invaded by wealthy white people and all of the neighbors keep disappearing and there's a big pharma company moving in in the neighborhood too there's a lot of stuff happening uh, a lot about history colonialism the Dutch settlers are still there and race gentrification but also like love and good neighbors and friends um, so I saw that this was classified as a thriller slash social horror. I think that's quite apt. This one's available in every format. This guy's just paperback and this one's an ebook as well. Last one is, this is the crowd pleaser. This is the one that your whole book club will love. Um, the Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. And this, uh, she's a Nigerian born and raised author. It's super inspiring. It's got real stuff in it, like Aduni, she's the main character. She is married off as a, a young teenager to a really revolting older man who has multiple wives and just gross. Um, but she has this outlook on life and this humor. Um, she's so resilient and really a cool person. Um, the dialect that the book is told in is just just so heartwarming and sweet and lovely and um, yeah it was very easy to read this, this one's an easy reader I love the narrator's voice and the energy and the spirit I love the positive um, the positivity and the inspiration that was really great too so this one's available in large print book club set ebook and e-audio so I hope one of those books will help you um, either continue or start on a journey of reading uh, authors outside of yourself or ones that affirm your identity, which is awesome and very important too. Thanks so much for listening. Hope you enjoy.